This is John B. with Let's Talk Outdoors Here's with a weekly fish recipe. And today I'm going to make a really super simple salmon pot pie. And I'm going to do it with a hunk of salmon that I caught, some uh, biscuits that you can buy at your store. And my ingredients today will be a can of mushrooms, a can of mushroom soup, some vegetables, some spices, and a potato. It's going to be that simple. Let me show you how to do it. Now first off, I want to remove the pen bones. There's some little bones right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of pliers. You reach in, you grab those, you hold the fish. Now look at that. That's a bone that I don't have to cut out and nobody has to worry about choking on it. It's kind of simple to get them. You just reach in and pluck away. There's only a few of them. And it's well worth doing that. You preserve a lot of the meat instead of cutting away the meat or trying to pick them out later. Nobody likes bones in their meat. And this is a king salmon, just a, a small two-person chunk. There's two of us in the household, so I'm going to make two pot pies that you can adjust your recipe for more people. But it's super easy, and, and just remember, what I'm showing you is a baseline. You can create your own recipe very, very easily by following my instructions and then just doing it on your own, however you want to do it. Okay, so I've got those out. The next step is removing the skin because I've got to cut this salmon up. But here we've got the skin, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut that skin off and I go a little bit higher because I don't like the brown part that's real close to the skin. See, I'll still cut a little bit of that off. But here's that skin, and some people like to take the scales off and cook this really crispy and eat it, but I'm not one of them. Here I'm going to still just cut that away a little bit. That's fat, and I don't like so much of the fat. Boy, this fish was really fatty. And the fat can taste a little bit fishy. All right, let me get rid of that and the bones. And I'll be right back. All right, I want to cut this into little pieces. I've got a little bit of a pin bone that I missed. I can feel it. There we go. Nice delicate meat here. The nice thing about cooking this in a pot pie, you can control the size of your pieces of fish and they'll cook to per perfection. You can also season it to taste. We don't tend to put salt in our food, so you won't see salt going in, in many of our recipes, but most people like that, so you could add that if it's an ingredient that you wanted to use. Yeah, and if you do use salt, sea salt is a good salt. I like garlic salt. Lois likes lavender. We're not going to use lavender today. I'm going to season this with oregano and some rosemary, which I really, really like. So let me get, get my other ingredients. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my salmon to my, my mixture of one can of mushroom soup and one can of mushrooms. that all up. Now a little bit of oregano and that again is to taste. You might like different spices.
not too much. And crushed rosemary. Rosemary is just awesome with salmon. I can smell it from here. It's so delicious. And granulated garlic. And you could use fresh if you like. All right, now I have to get some vegetables in here. Now, what I've done is I've taken some frozen vegetables and I just put them in a bowl, microwave them with some water for six to eight minutes. In this case, it was about six minutes. There's not very many there. So I'm going to add that. This has corn, beans, and carrots. Now I've got a potato, pot pies, not going to be a pot pie without a potato. Get my handy knife here. And I microwave this at the same time with my other vegetables. It's not cooked all the way through. And I want to get some good chunks in there. And this mixture will do four pot pies. I'm going to show you one right now. I've got a, a bowl, and you could use it in a uh, pie plate as well. But instead of regular crust, I'm going to use these flaky, these great flaky biscuits here. Now what I've got to do is Mash that up so it'll fit on the bottom. And I've got butter spread all around in there. Now I'll fill this, this up with good salmon and all the other vegetables. there. Flatten that out. Put it on top. It's that easy. Now I'll bake this at 400 for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, you have to watch the biscuit. You don't want to burn the biscuit. I'll tell you exactly how long it took me and everybody's oven is a little bit different so that's the key to it is you want to watch that that biscuit and make sure that you don't burn it. Let's get this in the oven. I'll, I'll talk to you as soon as it's out of the oven. It's a good idea to poke a hole in that too to let the steam escape. Oh yeah, thank you. And it's not as tight around the edges but there we go. I just pulled my pot pies out of the oven. I ended up making three pot pies. The recipe that I showed you will make three really fat ones or four average size. But since I had the fixings, I went ahead and made the third. I like them really fat, so I did it that way. I baked these for 20 minutes on the top rack at 400 degrees, and then I put them on the bottom rack to make sure that the biscuit on the bottom cooked fully, and I cooked them on the bottom rack for five minutes. These are done to perfection. They're absolutely wonderful. It's a super simple recipe to make. This is John's Salmon Pot Pie. If you've got any ideas for a recipe that you would like me to try or an ingredient, check out my email right here and email me at that email address and I'll give it a try. For Let's Talk Outdoors, my name is John Beeth. See you next week.